Hello everybody. And lo and behold it finally decided to warm up out here. It's actually not too bad, about low fifties. But kind of defeats the purpose of doing a cold star video. So I think I'll just do that after this choke upgrade. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to do an electric choke. Add an electric choke onto an Edelbrock carburetor. Now, this is a 600 CFM model. It had a has a manual choke on it, and this one only cost me about $300. If I wanted to get one with an electric choke on it, it would have cost me about $350. 50 bucks for that little choke thing. But really, I I had an old junk. Edelbrock carburetor that had an electric choke on it so I figured I'll take it off and put it on mine now, now let's see you will need a pair of vice grips and I stress you you will need them because there is a plug a brass plug right here that you have to put pair of vice grips on and pull with every muscle you got in your arm because it is in there pretty good but the you can get an electric choke kit and it'll come with the choke electric choke but it'll also come with all the linkages and stuff and a new shaft for about fifty sixty dollars well truth of the matter is you don't need this this shaft right here you don't need it all you really need is just this little piece right here because the only real difference in, between this and the one that's on it is this diameter hole it's a little bit bigger because you have to slip a rod through it but you could even if you didn't want to use that and you just wanted to use your same lever all you'd have to do is just drill that out make put a bigger hole on it but now on to the dirty business i've already taken the liberty of loosening the plug brass plug so i'll pull that out I've already taken the liberty of loosening this to loosen that standard hex uh, hex nut wrench whatever you want to call them. I don't know what the proper term for them is. All I just I just call them a nut driver. But you will need one of those to take that this screw off. So, and in my case now, before I go any further, I'm going to put the old one, or the, oh, eh, we'll put this one on. This is the new one. Fingers so don't fall back off. Thank you so I can get that screw back in. Then take
Yeah, there we go. Well, one thing else to note, you'll also need a T, let's see if I can get the number. A T20 torques a bit because you will need to remove this bracket right here. That's typically for where, where you place your choke cable through to hold it in place. But since we're using an electric choke, we don't need it, and plus it'll just be in the way. But there's just one screw holding it in on top. You just pull it around like so. And reinstall your screw. Whether you use a kit or an old one off another carburetor, you will have these kind of screws. They are not completely round. Come on, focus. There we go. They are called self tapping screws. The purpose is. Let's see if I can move the camera right there. See these two right here? And even this one? Once you thread the put drive those screws in, it taps the inside of the hole so that it'll accept the thread. Now you do not need to tap this one because it is it's not needed. You only need those three to put the deal on. Now back side you will have a little rubber washer here to make sure it is in place because you need to have it seal up tight against this right here because that is a vacuum port I'm gonna put that on in the interest of saving time because YouTube only allows me a certain amount of video time to before it starts panicking but I will pause this video put that on this on and get right back to you All right, back again, folks. I'm gonna try to set this as best I can. Well, hell, it's hard to... Pro amateur cameraman here. But anyway, now that I've got it on and all the screws tightened down and the linkage put on correctly, you will have the outer choke housing, a metal pl plate, a gasket, and then your choke element. An important note, metal plate goes on first, gasket, and then you want this where tip of my thumb is pointing at, that part of the choke to fit on this right here. You want it to fit like so. And you will, your kit will have three Phillips head screws with little washer tabs on them. All you need to do really is mess up the camera. Alright. That's the bound to get me a negative or thumbs down. And, uh, there we go. I figured out how to get that stupid thing to focus. Yeah. Here, I thought today was going to be a bad day. Oh well. But you need to put it on. Like so. And just, ah. hate it when these stupid things get flipped around. It always happens with these electric chokes. Uh, 
Let's see if I can get this on right. This part here, folks, gets very tricky. I stick put your damn piece of metal. Yeah. You'll have three of those. You'll have one there, one there, and then one under here. But to illustrate my point, let me loosen up it, the screw just to here, here, so I can turn it. There. What you want is your there. See that little white tab? You want it to be able to move the choke plate like so and I will put this into a two-parter so you'll be able to uh, it'll make more sense but anyway that's how you install the choke if you like it give it a thumbs up questions or comments drop it below the video and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a wonderful day.